what a gorgeous day it is in Yorkshire today. It's it's Sunday as I'm recording this, although I think this will be posted on Saturday's page because I'm a, a day behind. But it's on lovely days like this when you you feel better about yourself. Usually, oh look, we've got another one of those funny things again, <laughs> funny flies. When when you feel good about yourself more often than when it's miserable weather. But how about being feeling good about yourself whatever the weather and I'll go back to being present or being aware strange noises in the wood pile over there <clears throat> being aware and being present uh, being present in every moment that is always key and I'll keep banging on about it because it is really important any of the things I've talked about will be irrelevant if you don't remember them in the moment but one of the most powerful things, if not the most powerful thing I learnt about in the Landmark Forum when I did it, was how we all have a life sentence. Now this life sentence is, is not something that's been put upon us. It's usually ha it's come, come about by something that's happened when we were younger, maybe the 11 or 12 year period, or it could have been earlier. But it's something that happened and we've put meaning onto it, two separate things and they've collapsed into each other and we just believe that's how it is. And these, these life sentences could be something sort of like, could do better, I'm not good enough, I'm stupid, um, what's, I'm, feel, I'm guilty. And it's either happened from a one-off experience or in, in my case, mine was repeated over and over, the lesson that from, by my father that I wasn't good enough. That's what I understood from what he said to me in various occasions. I'm not sure if he actually ever did say, I'm not good enough. Look, my cat's coming again. If she comes over, I'll, I'll introduce you again. She just loves watching me doing videos. It's something that you have decided it could be totally totally not meant or in my father's case he was saying that I wasn't good enough for him but whether I actually meant it or not is another thing but it's something we meet we take on about our whole lives it's not true it's just it's just something we've put meaning to so I remember one particular example in his case that he said I was doing my maths homework and maths was the most important thing to him. It was the thing I struggled most with, unfortunately. I was brilliant at English, but it wasn't anything. He, wasn't, he was dyslexic, so he wasn't interested in English. So he wasn't bothered about that. He just wanted me to be good in maths. There's Rosie. Oh dear. There's, uh, Rosie's come to say hello yet again. Here we are, look. <clears throat> And he, he said, I'll wash my hands of you. I'll wash my hands of you. you know, and then he'd say things like, you'll never come to anything. You're, you're hopeless with maths. You'll never come to anything. You'll never earn any money. And that kind of thing, that kind of sentence. So I took it on board that I just wasn't good enough. Oh, you want to go down now, darling? Okay. Oh, that I just wasn't good enough in life. And as long as you have that in your mind, or not even in your mind, it's just in your subconscious, it's so subconscious, so inside you, that it, it is how it is and that you believe it. And you, you compensate for it in some other way. So one of my ways is, is by working really, really hard all the time. But if you're aware of the fact that you're doing this as your life sentence, something happens, whatever goes, if something goes wrong, my automatic thing is, oh, it's because I'm not good enough. And I, if you catch yourself, it makes you feel really bad when, you, when you're living in your life sentence. It's, it makes you feel like this big and makes you feel rubbish and useless. Whatever it is, if, it's not, if it's, you're not stupid or you could do better, you, you feel so bad. It feel, you can feel it in your, your heart. And when you're looking for, the, for your life sentence to find out what it is that you've decided, if you say that thing like, I'm not good enough or I'm not smart enough or I'm stupid, if you feel it in your gut, that is probably the life sentence you have chosen. But 
what, what can you do about it? Do you have to just feel rubbish for the rest of your life? No. You can be aware that that's what you've chosen to be your life sentence, that, that, that you didn't consciously choose it at the time, but you decided that's what you were. And whenever that feeling comes up, use it as a trigger to remind yourself that that's the life sentence you've given yourself and you don't have to choose that. You can choose to be something else. And it isn't, it isn't like the opposite, it isn't like, oh, I am good enough. It can be something completely different. It can be, you know, that you're, you're smart if that wasn't your, not being smart wasn't your life sentence. It doesn't have to be that. You just have to remember that that was what you, you tri it triggered off. That's why you feel bad and you don't have to. You can change it. You can live in the moment. You can deal with the situation as it is. If something went wrong, it wasn't because you weren't good enough. It was just because it went wrong. And it just takes the, the emotion out of it. So I hope that was helpful. I'd love to hear what your life sentence is. Have a think back and see where it came from and what it is. And then once you're aware, you can just put it to one side. Thank you for sharing, but that is not me. Okay, that's, that's all I've got for today. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. I'd love to join forces with you, lock arms with you and work with you with, um, with, with, my, with the Empower Business. If you'd like to do that, then please have a look at the video below the blog post and um, we'll lock arms and get in touch and I'll have a chat with you and see what you think. Bye for now.